common harbour seals this time of the year. They're here in their numbers now to have their pups. Very heavily pregnant at the moment. Any day now they're about to give birth. And you'll see all these ones on here, these are all the common harbour seals. See their sandy, silvery grey colour, almost a rusty colour, some of them. And they have a nice little round squat face, almost like a cat's face. Where's the grey Atlantic seal? They're about double the size, long, straight, pointed snouts, and they tend to be a grey or even a jet black colour. Any of the birds you're seeing flying overhead or perched on the beach, mainly all terns. We get them nested every summer. They fly all the way from West Africa to have their chicks there on the end of the point. We have the sandwich tern, the common tern, the little tern and the arctic tern all nesting on these outer ridges. You will see them terns flying overhead, maybe diving in the water, fishing for sand eels and white mate, long straight pointed faces. Not so many of them here this time of the year, as they tend to stay out of the way of the common seals while they're pupping. Tend to be a bit vicious when they're pupping sometimes, the mothers. <laughs> but the grey seals, they'll come back in the winter in their numbers. Thousand seals there their pup the point. As far as you can see, just absolutely cover the beach. Actually made us the largest grey seal colony in Britain, actually, last year. That's a grey seal just there. You can see how long straight his face is compared to the ones on the beach. And a lot of these ones in the water as well will be youngsters. About seven or eight months old, born here last winter. As you can probably tell, they don't really move very quick on the land. They sort of wriggle about on the sand until they get where they're going. But as soon as they get in the water, they can reach speeds up to 30 miles an hour. And stay underwater for an average of 30 minutes if they need to. For a very large grey seal, up to 40.